Welcome to Old Man Skateboarding, Punk Rock, and Old Cars. Brought to you by Skate Lewis. Switched it up. Just because I forgot to say it first. So this uh, is coming to you from my iPhone because I forgot to put the SD card in my uh, GoPro. I should do a whole thing on how GoPro isn't the worst anymore. So I realized I'd made a bunch of videos where I was complaining about them because I had issues with it. They did send me a, a replacement camera even though I was out of the one year warranty or whatever it was. It was two years old. It wouldn't connect and all that kind of good stuff. You Go back if you, if you want to see me be aggravated. But anyway, the reason I was wanted to at least say something today on my vlog, YouTube, YouTuber experience, whatever you want to call, call this. Today is the day after the bicentennial for Missouri. For some reason I thought it was today, but it was actually August 10th, uh, 1821. So here we are, 200 years later. I am in St. Charles, which was the other reason I thought of it, because St. Charles was the original capital of Missouri before it moved to Jefferson City. If you want to find out when that happened, look it up. What am I, like your history teacher? Uh, I probably could be, but, uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So 21, that was several years after Lewis and Clark was here. When did they come back? 18, I should know this, 1806? Was it four to six or, yeah, probably four to six. Anyway, as we say in YouTube land, that's the deal. So, uh, I'm skating the park in St. Charles. No one 200 years ago could have foreseen the skateboard unless they were moving stuff around on a board with wheels from place to place, but it never occurred to them to get on and ride it. You know what, maybe it did. Maybe there was a guy 200 years ago that was moving stuff around in a warehouse and thought, I'm gonna stand on that to get from one end to the other and pushed off and rode it from one end to the other. So skateboarding could be 200 years old and born right here in a warehouse in St. Louis or St. Charles in this case. And I'll give you this. Missouri entered into the Union as a slave state uh, due to the Missouri Compromise of 1820, which, if I remember right, Maine entered as a free state, Missouri as a slave state. So it pushed off the uh, secession of the southern states by another uh, 40 years or so. Makes you wonder if they had just seceded then and everybody was like, all right, well, whatever. See ya. Maybe there wouldn't have been a civil war. No one ever goes the simple route for something like that for, uh, what's that, alternate history? Like, where nothing happened, really? Like, everybody's like, all right, well, see ya. And then there wasn't a war. There might have been 40 years later anyway, but we'll never know, will we? So put that in your Showtime or HBO miniseries and whatever. Hello? All right, I filmed a couple things. I figure since it is the Missouri Bicentennial, I should do the thing I normally do over there. Grind, tap the front truck, hit the pyramid, rock and roll, fakie off the other pump bump into the face of the pyramid thing. 360 fakie, which I forgot is called a whirly bird. Kyle told me that. I didn't know it had a name. I just thought it was fakey 360. Who knew? Uh, my earlier comment about the Missouri Compromise. So what I meant too, to add, was if they had, the Southern states had seceded at that point, the compromise had never been met. Say Missouri and Maine both came in free states and they left. Eventually, it's only a theory. I have no way to prove it because it's, it's already happened. But eventually, the southern states probably would have given it up, I would think, you would hope, but uh, maybe not. So I'm gonna do my uh, thing over here and quit boring everyone with uh, history and uh, my guesses about history and what might have happened. Like what might have happened if I skated goofy? What if all these years I've really been goofy 
and I've been skating Switch for 45 years. Just think how much better I might have been if I skated Goofy, my proper stance. And I've been skating Switch this whole time, so that's my excuse. Now to figure out which side to put it on. Yeah, wrap it up. So who wants a Skate Lewis shirt? I haven't made any of these in a while. So leave that in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that good stuff that YouTubers say. But yeah, I haven't made any of these. I still have some of the Aldi uh, streetwear shirts. Small, medium, large, extra large. Uh, 20 bucks. Or 25 if you want me to handle and mail it to you. Um, you can uh, contact me through Instagram. Tim Five Cars. There's one of them right there. In fact, I just realized I've owned the 66 Dart longer than any of my cars. I bought it in a, uh, nine years ago this month. Pretty much to the day. I think it was sitting at uh, Lynn's Auto Repair on Lackland in Overland waiting for a new radiator, which I had to get from some company in Minnesota. So basically it has like a custom built, like basically a, a racing radiator in it but it fit so that was the that was the point what do you think about that